Anchorage, Wikipedia article audio. Anchorage in orthodontics is defined as a way of resisting movement of a tooth or number of teeth by using different techniques. Anchorage is an important consideration in the field of orthodontics as this is a concept that is used frequently when correcting malocclusions. Unplanned or unwanted tooth movement can have dire consequences in a treatment plan and therefore using anchorage stop a certain tooth movement becomes important. Anchorage can be used from many different sources such as teeth, bone, implants or extraorally. Certain factors related to the anatomy of teeth can affect the anchorage that may be used. Multi-rooted, longer-rooted, Triangular-shaped root teeth usually provide more anchorage than the single-rooted, short-rooted, and ovoid-rooted teeth. History Classification based on site One of the earliest uses of anchorage came from Henry Albert Baker for his use of the intermaxillary anchorage or Baker's anchorage. This type of anchorage involves using elastics from one jaw to the other in the form of either class 2 elastics where lower molar teeth serve as anchors, or class 3 elastics where upper molars serve as anchors. Intramaxillary anchorage is also used in the form of E-chain, when elastics are used from the back molar teeth to the front teeth in the same jaw to move teeth back of the mouth. Orthodontic headgear will usually consist of three major components. Robert Moyers defined the classification of anchorage in the number of units. Ravindranda and Charles J. Burstone described three types of anchorages that are based on the need during a treatment where space closure is needed. In some orthodontic cases, teeth have to be removed in order to either relieve dental crowding or reduce a large overjet or overbite. Therefore, the space created after removing teeth is usually closed during an orthodontic treatment. A space can be closed by either moving back teeth forward or front teeth backward. This type is considered critical anchorage, which involves 75% movement of anterior teeth and 25% posterior teeth into the space created by extraction. Thus the expectation in this type of anchorage is to bring front teeth back. Classification based on number of teeth This type of anchorage is considered moderate, which involves 50% movement of both anterior and posterior teeth into the extraction space. The expectation in this type of anchorage is to see posterior teeth moving forward equally as compared to anterior teeth moving backwards. This type of anchorage is considered non-critical, which involves posterior teeth moving forward 75% of the time and front teeth moving backwards 25% of the time into the extraction space. Greater movement of back teeth is seen in this case. Classification based on space closure This type of anchorage is needed in a treatment when there is 0% movement of posterior teeth forward and 100% movement of anterior teeth backwards. This type of anchorage is usually produced by using mini implants or temporary anchorage devices. Orthodontic mini implants can be used for the purpose of anchorage in an orthodontic treatment. The implants can be used to provide either direct or indirect anchorage. In this type of setup, orthodontic force is applied directly from the implant to one or multiple teeth. In this type of anchorage, the location of the implant plays a very important role due to different force vectors being affected. Group A Anchorage In this type of setup, an implant is used to stabilize one or multiple teeth into a unit. An orthodontic force is then used against this unit to move single or multiple teeth. In this setup, the location of the implant is not as important as long as the implant is stable. 
Group B Anchorage Cortical bone is known to resorb slower than the medullary bone. Therefore, cortical anchorage is used in orthodontics to allow for slower movement of teeth, especially molars in the posterior dentition. A clinician may produce a movement which allows the buccal roots of the permanent molars to move buccally, eventually contacting the cortical bone. It is claimed that that by using cortical bone against posterior teeth, mesial movement of posterior teeth can be prevented which helps in anchoring the posterior teeth in the back of the jaw. Group C Anchorage Idea of cortical bone anchorage is intensively used in bioprogressive therapy of Robert M. Ricketts who recommended using the cortical bone to slow the movement of the molar teeth in high anchorage cases. Absolute Anchorage Classification based on implant Direct Anchorage Simple-slash-primary anchorage using one tooth, compound anchorage using two or more teeth, reinforced anchorage that uses additional teeth or any other appliances to reinforce the primary anchorage. This can involve extraoral or muscular anchorage. A reinforced anchorage based on appliances can use, transpalatal arch, nance appliance, lower lingual holding arch. Indirect anchorage Classification based on bone Cortical anchorage